I went shopping, <laughs> obviously. Everybody likes candles, and if you don't, then why? why? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you all. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> so it's been quite a long time since I've done a haul video. Um, I think the last one I did was my New York City haul. Um, so I just don't usually go out and get like a ton of stuff at one time. Like usually I'll get things like here and there. I usually don't just go on like a shopping spree. But um, this stuff is some of it's from like my birthday. Some of it um, is just stuff that I picked up on my own. So I've got some clothes and some makeup products to show you guys. Um, so yeah, sorry if my voice sounds kind of funky. I'm sort of getting over a cold thing. Um, so yeah, I finally feel good enough to like film and talk and stuff and I don't sound like I'm like in a hole or drowning or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, so if you guys would like to see the things that I've gotten in this haul, then you can just keep watching. Thanks guys. Oh yeah, and make sure you stay tuned until the very end of this video because I am having a giveaway and I'm going to announce everything there and how you can win and all that fun stuff. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the clothing items, and this stuff that I'm going to show you right now I got at a thrift store called Gabriel Brothers. It's kind of like a cheaper TJ Maxx, like they don't have as much designer stuff, but they have some really cute stuff if you really search for it. Um, so I got a couple things from there, and the first thing I got is this really cute hat. It's like a felt hat, and it's like a plum, like purple color. And I've been looking for one of these, and I didn't really know. I kind of wanted a black one or, like, a brown one. Um, but every one I saw, they were so expensive. Like, they have a really cute one at PacSun that I love, and it's Brandy Melville, but it's, like, $40. And I was like, I, I'm not spending that much on a hat. So I found this one, and it was, like, um, $7.99 or something. So it's just really cute, and it has, like, these tassels on the side and I just love it. It's kind of almost like, it kind of matches a sweater, even though like one's purple and one's burgundy. It still kind of goes together. They're just like dark fall colors. So I really, really like it. I'm super glad that I found it. And the next thing I got from Gabriel Brothers are these shoes. They are like these black suede booties, and they have like two buckles on the side. These are like suede, and I just feel like suede like screams fall. Um, and I absolutely love these. They are the brand Wanted. I don't know where they're normally sold at, but um, yeah, you could find a lot of shoes that are just like this. This is a really, really popular style right now. So yeah, I've already worn these a couple times. They're super easy to pair with outfits. They can really dress up like a pair of jeans. You just like cuff the ankle and they look super cute. Or if you want to wear them with just like a dress, they can kind of casualize. I don't even know if that's a word. But make like a dress more casual, if that makes sense. But yeah, these were only $16.99, which is awesome for a pair of shoes this cute. Um, thrifting is like one of my favorite things. Speaking of thrifting, I also got um, a denim jacket, which I don't have it with me because um, I'm waiting for it to be sent out. But I follow a girl on Instagram who she absolutely loves thrifting, like she thrifts more than I do. Um, it's like her thing. And her Instagram is thrift underscore thrillers. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. So yeah, this is the jacket. It's like a vintage Levi's men's jacket. So it's going to be like oversized. So I'm really, really excited for that jacket to come in. I've been looking for like an oversized men's denim jacket to wear um, like with leggings and just I think they're super cute and they're like really big. I don't know. The next item I have to show you is another jacket and I got this one from a store called Clothes Mentor. I think they're kind of like paired with Plato's Closet, which I'm not a huge fan of, but this one is kind of like an older version so they have a bit more like classier stuff not for like old ladies but like I would say like 20s and up so I found this jacket there it is like a kind of tweed I guess it's tweed I don't know but it's a pea coat and it has um, like these buttons like it's like double breasted but it's really really cute to wear just like open too and it's a little bit shorter so it's kind of like a um, cut off crop jacket I don't know it's a banana republic jacket and I got it for like $11, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now on to the store that I cannot not include in a haul. Forever 21, <laughs> because this is like my store, let's be honest. This was where my mom took me shopping for my birthday, and I got a few things. Um, first thing I got, and I haven't even worn any of this yet, let's all just be really proud. 
I just got it yesterday. I totally would have worn it otherwise. But anyway, I got this plaid shirt and it is like a crop kind of button down shirt. It's not like super short, but if you wore kind of like high waisted jeans, it would just like fall right over the waistline. So I really like it. Um, it's the same kind of plaid as the skirt I was wearing in my share video and the jacket. I just love this pattern in these colors. I feel like they are so so fall like. And then next from Forever 21 I got a black and white striped sweater and it has this really cute collar at the top. Um, I already know exactly how I want to wear this and I'm really really excited. Maybe I'll make like an outfit of the day video with it because it's gonna be cute. And then next is another sweater and this one is like super big and chunky. I can't even find the top of it. Where are we? Here we are. Okay so it's like really big and chunky I don't really, it's kind of like ombre, like it starts out really blue at the top with some white and then like gets like lighter and lighter and then at the bottom it's like mostly white with blue. Yeah. But yeah, it's a super chunky sweater and it's um, like kind of a cardigan, like it's a bit longer in the back and it has pockets so I'm really really excited to wear that, probably wear it non-stop in the fall. It's fall, like it's already here so. Lastly, I got another chunky sweater. It is kind of like a burnt red color, and it's just a cardigan. Um, not too special, but it's just like really chunky and warm. Oh yeah, I also got this little makeup wand tool thing from Forever 21. It's um, like a beauty blender like on a stick, so I think it would be perfect. And it actually feels like a beauty blender, like some beauty sponges that are supposed to be dupes for beauty blenders actually are really like hard and they don't, I don't know, they just don't feel like a beauty blender. But this one actually does, like it's really squishy and you could probably even get it wet like you do a beauty blender. But I think it'll just be really good to like blend out concealer with and that kind of thing. So I'm excited to start using that. And I lied, I actually have one more thing to show you from Forever 21, and that is this black bag. It's just kind of a medium-sized bag, but it's really, really sturdy. It sort of reminds me of a Celine bag because it has, like, the way the um, handles are, like, fastened on. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, I, like, reorganized my bag, so if you guys want to see a what's in my bag video. I've never done one of those and I think it could be kind of fun. So if you want to see that then just let me know in the comments below. Next I went to Bath and Body Works because let's be honest, what beauty guru haul is complete without some candles? For some reason we're all just really obsessed with them, probably because we just like things that smell good. I know it's not makeup or anything like fashion related, but I don't know. I feel like everybody likes candles and if you don't then why? Why don't you? So the first one that I got is called Sparkling Confetti, and this is the part of the video where I smell things and pretend that you can smell them, but you really can't. Um, but yeah, it's called Sparkling Confetti, and um, it just kind of smells like, I don't know, it smells clean, but it kind of has that cologne scent, which I really, really like. Like, I like things that smell like boys. Who doesn't? I also got um, Fresh Balsam, and this one, literally, I can just tell you, it smells like Christmas trees. Like, if you get real Christmas trees, which my family does, if you get a real Christmas tree, that's what it smells like. So even if you don't get a real Christmas tree, you could light this candle and it would smell like it. I'm probably going to wait to start burning this one until like it gets closer to Christmas. I'm trying to kind of prolong the Christmas season. I don't want to start too early. And then the last one that I got is called Bergamot. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Bergamot Woods. And this is one of the white barn candles. And this is another one that smells a lot like cologne. Like, I think I had uh, Mahogany Teak Wood, I think was one that I had. And it smelled like Abercrombie. So if that one smells like Abercrombie, then this one smells like Hollister. Like, Yes. And the next place I went was Lush, and it's been a little while since I've made a Lush purchase. Um, so I just got a couple things. I got um, I got a refill of my Mask of Magnamenti. So um, yeah, I ran out of mine. It'll be in my empties video. I'll probably film like next week. And this is a clearing mask. So if I feel like I'm getting a breakout, which I usually am, I will put this on after I take my makeup off and just leave it on for 
literally however long I want. Like I'll just let it dry and go watch videos or do something. And sometimes I will put it as like a spot treatment overnight and just put it on any blemish I have and then just let it sit and it will kind of take down the swelling a little bit as well. I got a couple bath things. I got one bath bomb and one bubble bar and I'm actually partial to the bubble bars because I like bath bombs like they make the bath smell really good but I like to have bubbles in my bath so I just got one bath bomb and I got this one. He's a little robot. It's called um, Ickle Baby Bot and basically he has lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood and um, it says these are sleep inducing essential oils and they're nature's cure for insomnia and calming restless babies. So if you have trouble sleeping at night or if you have a child who has trouble going to bed, this could really help out. Um, I haven't tried it yet so I can't really tell you but um, yeah, I can definitely say that the smell it's like a kind of relaxing scent, like lavender and chamomile. Those are all like really relaxing, like sleepy scents. And the bubble bar that I got is this one. It is like an orange one. And it's one of the ones that are like smashed together. And then it has this kind of cream on the inside. Um, and it's called uh, Yuzo and Coco. And it says that it's inspired by the unusual Japanese fruit, the yuzu. And it says it's kind of like a satsuma orange. And that's what I get from it. It's like a really orangey scent. But I can smell like a cocoa like underlay. This is a bubble bar. So when I put it in the bath, it's going to like automatically start making bubbles. And when I use one of these, I like to break them up. And I can usually get like four baths out of just one of these. Because they make so many bubbles. And I love it. And lastly, I have a few things from Sephora, and I actually went a couple times. The first time I just bought one thing, and then the second time I went back because I was getting one particular thing for you guys. And I bought a couple more things. The first thing I got is the Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot um, box. Yeah, box of blushes is what it's called. And this is one of their holiday items. It has... Um, Dandelion, Bella Bomba, Sugar Bomb, Hula, Bronzer, Coralista, Rockator, and then it has a little Watts Up highlighter in there too. And I have already used this because I couldn't contain myself. Um, but I think this is such an amazing like thing because their blushes are really, really good, but I don't know which one I'm going to like the most. So this is like the best thing if you just want to like try them out. And um, they're a really good size, like they're not teeny tiny either. These are the blushes in it. So here you can see it comes with all five of the blushes and then their Hula bronzer as well and then the What's Up highlighter right here and it comes with one of their little baby brushes too. Here you can see them swatched on my hand. I have Coralista here, Dandelion, Bella Bomba, Sugar Bomb, Rockateur, the Hula bronzer right here and then down here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's the What's Up highlighter and it's like a cream highlight. And then I just have a couple other things from Sephora that I got. I had to pick up this um, Philosophy Fresh Cream Body Lotion because I saw Jaclyn Hill talking about it in like multiple videos just raving about it and I was like, oh, I have to smell that. So I went over and smelled it and I pretty much was sold like that because it smells so good. Again, you guys don't know what it smells like, obviously, but it says... Um, it's like a heavy cream kind of powdered sugar smell, but it's not too like bakery smelling. It still has like a clean kind of scent to it. It's just, it's just amazing. I put it on this morning and like I still keep getting like whiffs of it throughout the day, but it's not like overwhelming. It's just a really subtle like pretty scent. And then the last thing I got from Sephora is the Kat Von D ink liner. And this is a newer one that came out. She has another one that is kind of like a bristle sort of brush. Um, but this one is a felt tip liner. And I like tried it on in the store and it's so black. Like, it is the blackest liner I have ever seen. It goes on so smoothly. It's not patchy at all, and it's super, super black. 
So that concludes my fall haul and now on to the giveaway. I decided because I love it so much and I think you guys are going to love it as well and it's such a great palette to get you guys your very own box of blushes from Benefit. This is just like the one I swatched for you in this video so now you can have your very own. To enter this giveaway all you have to do is of course be subscribed to my channel. This is a subscriber giveaway. I do these for my subscribers and you must be one of them to win. Then what you're going to do is go to my Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, find the giveaway photo, repost it with the hashtag KatieFallGiveaway. I will see it and enter you in the giveaway, and then on November 27th, I will pick a winner and I will contact that person directly through the social media site that they entered with. So I will not be sending messages to anyone via YouTube. If you get one, it's spam. Don't click on any links or anything. Let's all be really, really smart here. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck in the giveaway. And also give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Got a big old bag. <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks. I am literally caught. Ow. Okay, hope those are good because this is way too heavy for me. Some of it is, some of it are. Is R? Is it? Are this pair of shoes? Is this pair of grammar? Next from forever. The next for. Oh my gosh. So easy. Maybe not. Don't they know I'm filming?